Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Buy Aerospace Rebrands Electric Airplane. ACJ 319neo sets record during test flight. And AirVenture NOTAM updated for 2019. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. Buy Aerospace has rebranded their family of electric aircraft, formerly known as Sunflyer to eFlyer. Buy Aerospace founder and CEO George Buy said eFlyer more accurately represents the aircraft's high tech all electric propulsion system. We originally thought solar cells would be standard on the airplane's wings. However, with eFlyer's primary markets being flight training and air taxi services, it makes more sense to make the price of the airplane as reasonable as possible. The eFlyer family, including the two-seat eFlyer 2 and the four-seat eFlyer 4, aims to be the first FAA-certified all-electric airplanes to serve the flight training and general aviation markets. By Aerospace has received 298 total customer commitments for both aircrafts, including a recent agreement with OSM Aviation Academy to purchase 60 eFlyer 2s. Siemens will provide electric propulsion systems for the eFlyer 2. The 57-pound SP70D motor with a 90 kilowatts peak rating and a continuous power setting of up to 70 kilowatts. We'll be right back after these messages. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some interesting stories coming out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's Around the Patch. Skyblazer Academy is now up and running. The Academy is dedicated to helping young adults get into the aviation field. Sporties will provide private pilot ground and primary flight instruction for Skyblazer Academy scholarship recipients at their campus based at the Claremont County Airport. The first radar probe of an asteroid will be conducted by ESA's HERA mission. Once in orbit around its target body, the Juventus spacecraft will unfurl a large antenna and perform a surface radar survey of the asteroid. The proposed HERA mission for planetary defense will explore the twin Didymos asteroids, while also carrying two of Europe's first CubeSats to travel into deep space. Two U.S. Air Force F-35A Lightning II aircraft conducted an airstrike at Wadi Ashai, Iraq in support of the Combined Joint Task Force, Operation Inherent Resolve. This marks the F-35A's first combat employment. All safety, efficiency, and economic indicators show air travel in the United States is strong, according to the FAA Aerospace Forecast Fiscal Years 2019 to 2039. Aircraft operations are expected to increase more than 25% over the next 20 years, and U.S. passengers will increase from 743.9 million in 2017 to 780.8 million in 2019, a 5% increase. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. 
Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. The ACJ319neo successfully completed a 16-hour and 10-minute test flight, setting a new record for the longest A320 family flight by an Airbus crew. It flew from Toulouse to northern Greenland and back. The flight also included a simulated diversion under 180-minute ETOPS rules for which the A320 airliner family is already certified. The aircraft is due to be delivered to K5 Aviation of Germany in the upcoming months and is fitted with five additional center tanks in its cargo hold and includes lower cabin altitude for greater passenger comfort. The latest EAA AirVenture NOTAM contains FAA-approved procedural changes that emerge from pilot feedback and the EAA has made additional arrival procedure recommendations to enhance safety. The NOTAM contains a new diversion procedure which flows traffic to Fond du Lac County Airport in the event of airport closure at Whitman Regional Airport. Arrival best practices have been updated as well, including changes to limit the impact of mass arrivals on VFR aircraft a text message system to provide information to pilots to keep them updated on the current status of KOSH, ATC utilization of a ground stop and delay system out to 150 miles will also be instituted. Finally, 17 acres of aircraft parking and camping land has been added to the South 40. And that wraps up our show for today. As always, don't forget to subscribe, tweet, and like us. And if you're looking for real-time updates on the latest aviation and aerospace news, check out aero-news.net. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow for an episode of the AMA Drone Report.